Ooh. Do it, girl. You got this. Oh, yeah. Baby, could you please put your seatbelt on so the sunset could be quiet? Oh, my God. Oh, he's telling me to do something. Oh. There. What the? F What's with the attitude? I'm just asking you to put your seatbelt on. It takes two seconds, then you can go back to your picture. Boo boo, you best lower your voice. I don't give a fuck if I'm giving you attitude. I can find me 50 thirsty motherfuckers on Facebook that gonna deal with this attitude, okay? How you like that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so that's how it's gonna be? You know what? Get the fuck out of my car, bitch. I'm waiting. No. <laughs> no, sweetie. You dropping me off first, okay? Go. Keep going, come on. Look, I'm not playing with you. Get the fuck out of my car! As a matter of fact, here's a dollar and some change. Catch yourself a bus. Now, we could both agree that that was a really stupid argument. It had no business even turning into an argument. But unfortunately, old girl over here obviously woke up with a dinosaur's tooth up her ass and decided to give her boyfriend attitude. And because boyfriend received attitude, he's gonna give attitude back. And bam, there goes an argument. Over what, ladies and gentlemen? What what was the argument over? He asked her to put her seatbelt on. Sounds, it's stupid, isn't it? Truth is, stupid ass arguments like these are bound to happen when you are in a relationship. You cannot be with somebody for so long and just never bump heads, you know? That would be weird. The perfect relationship. So I said, how about I make a video trying to help all my beautiful people out there avoid these really stupid arguments. Number one, take a walk. What does this mean, Sergio? It's like when you're playing sports. You caught the football, you're running for touchdown, and then out of nowhere you see this fat ass linebacker dive for your ankles as if it were some donuts, and then you do a front flip and you land badly on your knee. Your coach tells you, take a walk, let your knee chill, feel better. When you feel tension between you and your girlfriend or you and your boyfriend, sometimes you just need to take a walk. You know, just drop it, be like, look, I don't see us getting nowhere right now. We're both mad and frustrated. You know, let me just, let's just both chill and later we'll figure it out. Just make sure you don't do some shit like this. Bitch, I don't even care no more. I'm leaving. <laughs> that would just make things worse and you know, you can't afford that at this point. So you wait a couple hours, let all these bad feelings out of your system, eat a Snickers bar or a slice of pizza if you have to, those seem to help, and then text them something like this. Now at this point we're hoping that your boyfriend or girlfriend has also let out their feelings, they've cooled off, so when they see your message, they will kind of react like this. Oh, he misses me! Oh my god! <laughs> Oh, I miss you too! And they'll text back, I miss you too, and there you go, bam! Y'all talk, y'all have those soft feelings for each other, you tell her you're about to come over and give her that good ass dick! And it's, it's solved. Number two, pride. Once you are in a serious relationship, you just gotta accept that sometimes you will be wrong, sometimes shit will be your fault, and sometimes you just gotta be like, you know what? It ain't even worth it, fuck it. Just think about how many times your boyfriend or girlfriend tried blaming some shit on you or tried being right about something that you try to be right about and then both of y'all are just arguing like little kids. No, 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 mm-mm, no, 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 babe, no, baby, I'm sorry, no, mm-mm, no, 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 no. Now instead of doing that for about one or two hours, have you ever tried doing this? Baby, you know what, you right, I'm sorry. Honestly, I'm sorry. You're right. You're right. Come, come here. Come here. Give, give me a kiss. Come on. She has nothing else to say. She's like, wait, what? He's saying, I'm right. What? Because she was about to get all defensive. You know, she expected you to fight her about this shit, but you didn't. So now, you know, you save yourself one or two hours, and guess what you're going to do in those one or two hours? You're going to give her that good? Number three, think about it. Think about how much more useful that time you're about to spend arguing could be if you just stop. You know, stop the argument. Don't just shut the fuck up and just love each other. Whether you guys are on your way to the movies and you start arguing over some dumb shit and then you get to the movies and you have to turn back around because both of you are just fed up with each other. Or if you're at a restaurant enjoying your good ass meal and then out of nowhere both of y'all start arguing and then you have to leave early because you're disturbing everybody else eating and you just ruined each other's meals. Or if you're cuddling with each other and you're about to spend the night on her house but then some shit comes up and you end up leaving because both of you are mad at each other. Is a stupid argument really worth y'all not enjoying a movie, not enjoying a good ass steak, 
and not enjoying a long night with each other so you could give her that dick. Finally, like the great Kanye once said, do you even remember what the issue is? You just try and find where the tissue is. Don't just continue arguing and arguing and arguing and making some simple little problem into something huge and then even thinking, wait, what the fuck started this? What? 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 What's up guys, hope this video was helpful, if it was, you know, hit that like button, drop a beautiful comment, subscribe to my YouTube channel for all my further videos, and share it to your friends and whoever you think it may help as well, and I love y'all, have a wonderful day, peace!